the centre of departure to do. So Nats and um, CAA looked quite blank at that because they hadn't thought about it at this time because there is obviously no third runway proposed, but they will have to do something in the future. It can't turn right because those southern runways will be impacted. So it will have to be a left turn, and they agreed about that, if nothing else. Um, moving on, um, shortly before, or I think on the time of the, no, I think it was shortly before, Heathrow came back with a Brexit boost, and I think they said that they were gonna offer another 25,000 ATMs. Well, that's not a machine where you get the money out of the bank. It's an air traffic movement. Now, working that out, they said that the start would be actually late, around about 5.30 a.m. They couldn't give an explanation as to how that was going to impact upon the traffic coming in from the east, Hong Kong, China, etc whether they will wait up in the air for another 45 minutes before they can land. Anyway, um, and I asked also about the trial that took place um, about a year ago, called TBS, Time Place Separation. They have not given the results of that at the moment. They still use what is called TEAM, which is a tactically enhanced arrivals movement, where they use both runways at the same time in the early morning so they can pack some more traffic in. And they also propose to use TED. This is obviously a local fella, and, and which is tactically enhanced departures to get these 25,000 extra uh, movements, which will require planning permission and uh, an extension of the cap of movements currently used by um, um, Heathrow. In turn, I asked them, will this include the use of the northern, current northern runway, which is part of the Cranford Agreement, and I gave evidence to the planning committee, uh, planning inspector last August, and no decision has been made about that. So we wonder where the decision-making process has disappeared, because if that was given, then Heathrow uh, would use multi, um, mixed mode operations, and we would, only, we would get 50% less traffic flying over the top of us here in the central wind, whereas we get at least 95% of the land landing aircraft, uh, as you're fully aware of, we have in the last couple of weeks or so. Um, there is also the results awaited of the 3.5 glide sloop to lessen the noise. That hasn't come out either at the time. Um, and the only other comment was that there was 30 regional airports in favour of Heathrow, but none of those will receive uh, air traffic movements. Uh, from, they include the um, Gloucester Airport and Doncaster Airport, which would never have a, um, <laughs> a, a service to London. I think the only likely candidate would probably be Liverpool or uh, an extra Scottish airport, but, or Newquay, which would get two flights a day. Uh, but they could land, on, those aircraft could land on a postage stamp quite easily. Um, that's my contribution at the moment, but on the 7th, which is in the next couple of days, um, the representatives of the council have been invited to a special um, briefing by John Holland Kay about the third runway. And hopefully I could um, publish something like that in due course or at the Aviation Forum in due in due course. In respect of, um, everybody talks about near misses. There was a near miss recently, um, not widely reported, but a, a aircraft going to the, um, let me put it in the, this picture, in the Asian subcontinent, that took off the wrong taxiway and was only 300 foot above uh, Longford Village at that time. It did wake up a lot of people. He made a mistake and uh, apparently he's been suspended and uh, operations are being queried by that particular airline. It took off and it really just about cleared the fence at the end. Is there a date? I don't know the date, but I can get back to you in due course. It, it, it has been noted on aviation websites that are in the public domain that are available to everybody. Um, that's my update from Heathrow and um, I will continue as best I can with uh, being uh, a nuisance to John Holland.